something strange is going on with Atomic Shrimp. A channel most known for his scam baiting videos has taken a slightly darker turn recently. Join me as I take a deep dive into what I have been calling the Slaughter ARG. Now let's take a look together at these public service announcements that shouldn't exist. Every year on November the 9th, the villages of East Slaughterton, Middle Slaughter and Slaughter Bottom come together for the annual Three Slaughters Festival of Screaming. The winner will be awarded this delightful cow, confiscated by force from last year's winner. Here's Colin, a new addition to our panel of judges this year. Here's Glenda, she's also excited to be taking part. And look, there's George. He's busy making the sticks with which the runners-up will be thoroughly beaten. If they didn't scream loud enough to win, they certainly will after they lose. Isn't that right, George? Never mind. Make sure you come along to the Three Slaughters Festival of Screaming. I scream, you scream, we all scream. Because participation is compulsory. Now I don't know about you, but I would not want to live in Slaughter Valley. Especially if participation in this is compulsory. If you're not aware, compulsory means forced. So, so far we have three strange towns with an immense amount of control over its citizens. They seem more like prisoners when they're forced to participate in events that will actually cause them to get beaten afterwards. Something's not right in these slaughter towns. Something is very, very wrong. But let's continue with our next public service announcement from the Slaughter Valley Events Authority. What else do they have in store for their citizens? For residents of the ancient market town of Slaughter Cross, here's something new that's opening this week. Our very first foreign restaurant. Here you will be able to enjoy the interesting flavors of faraway places. Sample dishes made from exotic vegetables, assorted regulated meats, and seasoned with exciting spices and flavors from parts of the world beyond the perimeter wall. At Slaughter Cross Foreign Restaurant, you can sample all four of the flavors of outside without ever attempting to leave the town. Do not attempt to leave the town. This message was brought to you by Slaughter Cross Perimeter Control. Do not attempt to leave. The next town we see featured is Slaughter Cross. In the video entitled Food, we learn how isolated and how controlled Slaughter Cross really is. Apparently they're getting their first ever foreign restaurant in the town. Doesn't seem like they eat many different kinds of food, as this is their version of different kinds of meat. Seemingly solid cubes, as we see salt poured over a block of wood and fruit. Eyeballs seem to be staring out of the foreign restaurant as we see the four foreign dishes mushroom dish, variety dish, carbohydrate paste, and nutrient cubes. It seems as though these are the only kinds of food that they have. And we are reminded do not attempt to leave. If you're thinking of visiting Hurdle Slaughter, it's important to familiarize yourself with the cherished customs of this picturesque little village. You will find most aspects of daily life and conversation very familiar. However, should you find that someone offers the phrase goodbye to us, this is an indication that they wish you to leave immediately and never return. If you should remain after this signal has been given, and in the event that you subsequently suffer any kind of loss, damage or mutilation, the local constabulary will not be able to help you, so remember, goodbye to us means goodbye to you. This message was brought to you by the Information Bureau of Hurdle Slaughter. Hello, Outsider. Hurdle Slaughter customs are strange indeed. The people seem to be in a trance-like state. A new instruction to keep yourself safe is to understand that the phrase goodbye to us means leave immediately. It also makes it very clear that failure to follow the rules of goodbye to us means that the police will not be able to help you should you need their help. And it seems like you will. Brought to you by the Information Bureau of Hurdle Slaughter, this feels like a tourism video for a Lovecraftian town in the making. Mass psychosis seems to be a likely possibility. The slaughter towns may be home to some kind of dimensional rift that is affecting the population 
and causing them to slowly go insane. We wish to inform consumers that Sloster Sauce is available once again and is now safer for human consumption. In the 90 days since the incident, our product development and testing staff have been working themselves and each other to death to slightly improve the safety of this traditional condiment. In honor of their sacrifice, we are delighted to introduce the new product lineup. Sluster Original has been reformulated to make it slightly safer for human consumption than before the incident. For the younger consumer, here's Sloss with added natural ingredients to make it really moorish. And for the health conscious, how about Sluster Light? Same viscosity, but lighter. Of course, the recipe is still a carefully guarded secret and it's probably best that way. There's never been, relatively speaking, a safer time to experience the peculiar consistency of Sloster Sauce. Never exceed the lethal dose. Sloster Sauce. I love how they only say that it's safer, but not totally safe for human consumption. We also get a little bit of lore here for the story. It's been 90 days since something called The Incident. What happened at this incident, and how did it affect the towns of Slaughter Valley, we are yet to find out. I find it interesting that whenever handling any of the sauces in the video, the person is always using tongs or very thick rubber gloves so as not to touch their bare flesh. Why are they trying to get people to eat it? The narrator announces that workers have been working themselves to death to slightly improve the safety of this traditional condiment. Why is it so important? What does it do? They even introduce Sloss for Kids and Sloster Light. In the Sloss for Kids, it clearly states at the bottom of the screen, do not operate machinery. And for the Sloster Light, new reduced cadmium recipe. We are shown Sloster sauce being poured with reckless abandon on seemingly two pieces of food as a normal serving suggestion. So there is a lethal dose that is commonly known and they just advise you not to eat that much. Seems strange that they would willingly sell something they know is lethally poisonous. Why is the Slaughter Valley Ministry of Condiments and Hazardous Material Containment Services promoting that their citizens, including children, routinely ingest poison in their food? Is this preparing them for something else? Please pay attention to the following information about the new geometric solids which have been installed in every household throughout the Slaughter Valley District. If you have been issued a cube, you must feed it daily with the nutrient fluid. You can buy additional fluid at your local chemist. If your cube should turn transparent, this is normal. You should take it outdoors at once. Fresh air and sunshine will return it to an opaque state. If you have been issued an assortment of geometric solids, do not be surprised to find them moving together across surfaces or through the air. This is also perfectly normal. Many people initially find the accompanying sounds deafening or nauseating. This sensation will pass. If your geometric solid begins to change into human form, this is also completely normal. Take it outside immediately and incinerate it completely. A replacement will materialize spontaneously. Which brings us to safety. You may be wondering if your geometric solids are safe. We would like to respond to this concern by assuring you that the geometric solids we have installed in your homes are absolutely necessary. Strange new sculptures of various geometric shapes have been installed in everyone's homes throughout the Slaughter Valley District. If you were issued a cube, you must feed it daily with a strange nutrient fluid. If your cube becomes transparent, they reassure us that this is normal. You must take it outdoors at once and leave it to get sun and fresh air to return it to its normal state. If you have been given an assortment of shapes, they tell you, don't be surprised if the shapes begin to move across the ground on their own, and also that they may float again we are told this is normal. The sounds that these objects produce when moving is said to be deafening and also causes nausea, but this effect is said to pass after prolonged exposure. Next, we are told that if your object begins to take human form, you should take it outside and burn it as soon as possible. We are told once again, this is normal. A replacement object will materialize in your home from some unknown source soon after you destroy your human-shaped one. To assure its citizens that these geometric shapes are perfectly safe, the announcer simply says that they are absolutely necessary. This video was brought to us by the Slaughterfield Experimental Geometry Sciences. What are these strange geometric shapes, and what are they really for?
the people of Slaughter Valley seem to be guinea pigs for some strange weapon, or the victims of slowly invading enemies that are currently unknown. Come to Slaughtermouth Seaside Resort if you really feel you absolutely must. Whether it's an unnecessary stroll on our lovely beaches, spoiled only by you walking on them, or imposing your undesirable existence at a quiet and delightful cafe that does not require your patronage, we have a statutory obligation to state there's something here for you. While you're here, why don't you take a nice walk across our scenic archery range, or enjoy a short boat trip out to sea. At Slaughtermouth, these are just two of the many things waiting to happen to you. If you insist on inflicting your bothersome presence at Slaughtermouth Resort, the residents of our unique and special coastal village are legally required to present this thin veneer of welcome. Slaughtermouth Seaside Resort. Come for the afternoon, stay for the rest of your life. Slaughtermouth Seaside Resort doesn't seem very concerned about attracting customers. First, they scold the potential customer for ruining their beaches then proceed to insult them by calling their existence meaningless. We then see the strange phrase again, goodbye to us, given by the waiter to two diners, implying that they have to leave immediately. The people making this don't want anyone to come visit, it seems, mentioning that they are legally required to say that there is something there for you. This has been mandated by the Slaughter Valley Tourism Colloquium. Colloquium implies that it's not official, and yet they have the power to force the creation of these ads. They are literally trying to kill their guests by suggesting that they take a nice walk in front of the archery targets. A free short boat trip out to sea is also offered, but to non-swimmers only. I don't think any of those poor souls will make it back to port. The announcer makes it perfectly clear that if you do choose to show up, every citizen is legally required to pretend that you are welcome there. You are not. The words, please keep driving, are inscribed at the bottom of the welcome sign. This one ends with the tagline, come for the afternoon, stay for the rest of your life. Something strange is definitely going on. Are you ready for Alphabet Day? She isn't. On Friday the 3rd of January, the Administrative District of Slaughter Valley will fully adopt the new alphabet. You're no doubt already aware of the forthcoming changes. To recap, the new 29-letter alphabet includes three new variants of familiar letters. These are Intruding A, Broken H, and Silent S. There are also two completely new letters. These are the Gathering Verb Letter Klusmox and the Scattering Noun Letter Some people may experience difficulty perceiving the letter either visually or audibly. If you are affected by this issue, you must visit your local conformity station, step inside the conditioning cubicle, and press the button, clearly marked with the letter D. Two letters, R and N, will be completely abolished. You will no longer be permitted to use these after the 3rd of January. In most cases, they may be simply omitted from words, and no legal penalties will be incurred. In case this proves difficult, you must substitute the letters W and M, respectively. So make sure you're ready for Alphabet Day. Here's... Alphabet Day. Friday the 3rd of January will mark the day when Slaughter Valley slips deeper into insanity. In a move that will separate it even more from reality, the citizens will adopt a new alphabet. Containing a total of 29 letters, the new alphabet has three new variants of existing letters. Intruding A, which is an A with an arrow attached to the bottom of it. Broken H, which is essentially a crumbling letter H. And Silent S which looks like an S, M, and L blended together, and two brand new letters. One is called the Gathering Verb Letter, called Klusmox. A mind-boggling warning on the bottom of the screen says, do not inscribe this verb letter on combustible materials. And why is that? I wonder what might happen. The other new letter is called a Scattering Noun Letter. It is incomprehensible when spoken. We are warned this time not to speak this letter in confined spaces. What is going on here? These supposed letters must have a bigger importance than they are revealing. They seem to resemble sigils and runes more than traditional letters. And along with their apparent supernatural abilities to cause things to happen, I believe they have more power than we currently understand. We are then told that if you have trouble perceiving the incomprehensible letter, you must head immediately to your local conformity station, enter the conditioning cubicle, and press a mysterious button. This whole thing is becoming a dystopian hellscape of 1984-like proportions. 
A new rule states that the letters R and N are to be done away with completely, and no one will be allowed to even use the letters after the 3rd of January. Either leave the letters out of every word you say, or substitute W and M for R and N. So Friday, the 3rd of January, becomes Friday, thid of Jamuary. Slipping further into insanity, we see a man with letters painted all over his face as the announcer proclaims that this man is ready for Alphabet Day. Whether it's a golden sunset or the glittering stars at night, or a beautiful blue laced with silver clouds, the sky is something we all know and love, and yet which we sometimes take for granted. On Tuesday the 19th of December, for a period of 12 hours, beginning at 6 o'clock in the morning, the sky above the localities of Slaughterham, Middle Slaughter and Slaughterwick will undergo scheduled maintenance and will be unavailable. You should not attempt to look at the sky during this time. It is most important for the future stability and reliability of the sky that this vital work should go ahead unhindered, and for this reason, for the entire period while it is out of service, you must not look at the sky, either directly through windows or skylights, or indirectly via mirrors or any other reflective services. Slaughter Valley Atmospheric Control thanks you in advance for your understanding and compliance, and reminds you that for this period of essential management, you will not look at the sky. Our announcer begins speaking cryptically about the sky, mentioning how much we all take it for granted. On Tuesday, the 19th of December, there will be scheduled maintenance on the skies over three towns. The newly mentioned Slaughterham, Slaughterwick, and along with Middle Slaughter from the very first video uploaded event. The message scheduled maintenance, the sky and amenities related to the sky will be unavailable for 12 hours between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Slaughter Valley Atmospheric Control, the organization responsible for this particular PSA, urges people to not look at the sky at all and to avoid even reflections of the sky. They suggest to even blindfold yourself and cover the eyes of others to avoid looking at the sky. They say looking at the sky may negatively affect the future stability and reliability of the sky, as if it's some giant machine or living entity that has to be satisfied in order to continue working. The video ominously ends with you will not look at the sky. So far we have Slaughter Valley, comprised of East Slaughterton, Middle Slaughter, Slaughter Bottom, Hurdle Slaughter, Slaughter Cross, and Slaughter Mouth, along with a slew of incredibly convoluted organizational names. I am very curious to see where this story goes. It is ongoing, and is currently being updated sporadically between Atomic Shrimp's other content. For example, when I was around 90% done with this video in particular, he uploaded another entry. The weather video. This is part one of an ongoing Slaughter Valley mystery series. Let me know what you think down in the comments, because I am still super confused about what is going on. It can be anything from aliens, to HP Lovecraft, cosmic horror monsters, or even just a government experiment to test humans' mental limits gone wrong. We will find out in time together, and I will be here with an update when I have enough material to make another video. Thanks for joining me on this otherworldly exploration into a place that I can't fully understand yet, but intrigues me immensely. Until next time, I have been The Diligent Dabber. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the next video. And check me out on Instagram at Diligent Dabber or Diligent Dabber Reviews. Take it easy, guys.